We're heading to the Tesla Gigafactory. The Gigafactory has been described as the machine that builds the machine. In the middle of the middle of nowhere, and then you like come around the corner and there's this huge factory. And it just kind of takes you by surprise. It's impressive. We make the battery packs, the drive units for the Model 3 and the Model S and X. Uh, we make the energy products for, for both residential and industrial. This building is only a third of the way built. Right now it already makes more lithium ion rechargeable batteries than the rest of the world does combined. Um, I'm pretty sure I spent an entire tour like open mouth gaping at everything that was going on. There's so many moving parts. Seeing that brought a whole new perspective on different jobs that there were out there where they put the motors together. Those were the really big claw machines that were like <laughs> And those were pretty cool, yeah. So what you guys are seeing here is actually the first production line that was built at Gigafactory Nevada. This is called our cell test and load station for our energy storage products. And so what's happening is these robots on this side are running a testing process where they're making sure every single cell is perfect. My name is Meredith Westerfer. I'm an industrial engineer. I take care of the design of the factory overall, the layout of the factory, working with manufacturing engineering, which is the people who design the production lines that you see here, to figure out the most optimal way to lay those lines out so stuff gets from one line to the next line uh, really well and gets out of the factory like in, in a good logical way. You know, our mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. So we're going to need great technical talent, we're going to need great leadership talent, we're going to need great people development and planning and finance and all the other different functions necessary to make this place great. Do you mind telling us a little bit more about yourself and your story and, and how you got to where you are? Sure. Um, so I chose to go into engineering because I thought it sounded cool. I thought I wanted to go into electrical engineering when I was in high school. Once I took my first circuits class in college, I was like, wait, not this one. Yeah, not this one. Um, so I found out about industrial engineering kind of throughout my studies uh, with a professor who was like, hey, I'm an industrial engineer, here's like some of the stuff that we do. Uh, and it is a combination of people skills and math, is how I like to think of it, and like logic. We're like the logic engineers. So we can work on any problem, we can work on anything that's a process. You see that she doesn't hesitate. She kind of just like solves problems. And I kind of want to learn to be more like that. Someone that just like, things don't get under your skin because you know you can find a solution to it. People definitely thought it was nuts to pick up and move to Reno to work for Tesla. It was a big leap of faith. Then you get out here and it's like literally 20 people sitting in a trailer in the middle of the desert. That's actually, uh, I think, where Meredith's first office was. Oh, really? Those yeah. trailers? Yep, because those were the very first trailers on the site. A couple of windstorms, I thought we're going to tear that trailer completely apart question your uh, choices sometimes during those moments. I took a little bit of a drive around the Gigafactory in her Model X. And things go so fast, it's like 0 to 60 and 3.5 or something like that. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Whoa. <laughs> it's crazy now to be here where we've got almost 10,000 folks on the site from the 20 that we started with in this huge factory, right, making all these really cool products. So it's been, yeah, it's been quite a journey.